What does the first session look like when the affair is freshly discovered, they are overwhelmed with pain, shame, mm -hmm. anger, et cetera? Mm -hmm. Increase your role as each partner's temporary attachment figure, even though they don't know you yet and you don't know them, you get bigger to contain the obvious distress and overwhelm, pain, agony, fear, defenses, reactivity, wanting to explain how and why it happened and it was only one night and da 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 da. Your only job in that kind of session is to keep safety. So you contain bullets, you say, wait, 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 you got to tell me about your distress and not point your finger at your wife. You've got to not kick her chair that happened in my office a few years ago. When you're making a fist and pushing it in your hand like that, I need to know more about, does this happen at home? Help me know the risk issues. I realize you've gotten this really bad news, either because you realize your partner cheated or you got caught cheating, whatever it might be. I got to slow you down. Let me slow you down. Turn to me. Tell me. I go in on my wheelie chair and I go closer and I'll say, talk to me. I'm right here. I can help hold this. Your partner can't right now. You just get ready for all kinds of secondary emotion and, and you make space for it. You validate it. There, there would be no other way for a human to respond other than in secondary emotion. Create safety. Don't yes. keep the bar low here in terms of helping them to connect and bond. No, don't even not, try. We're not even looking for bonding moments. Like, no way. Right off your list. Your goal is to create safety. You mentioned three different ways you can do it. Stop the bullets. Yes. Stop the bullets. Hold it, hold it. Wait a second, wait a second. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Don't talk Turn to your partner to right now. Yeah. But eventually, this process will lead to you sharing your pain with your partner and your partner yeah. helping you hold it. Right now, talk to me. Yeah. Do you remember that ENC session where I talked about wheeling in and putting my hand down between them? Yes. And I, I had do. to tell them to stop it. You know, we have this reputation and I think we are just such tender hearted, you know, validating, reflecting sweethearts, you know, all of us EFT therapists, but we also have to hold limits and we have to be tough. Yeah, firm yeah. and clear that safety firm. won't get safety won't have a chance of getting established if I'm fickle or wishy washy about what I accept to allow to happen in my office. Right. And so sometimes I get bigger and I say, uh, 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 I've got to stop you. That's not acceptable. That's good to know. We have that freedom, even as sweetheart EFT therapists. And then the third thing you said is validate and you get to validate the secondary. You have to. You don't just get to, you have to. Yep. You must validate the secondary emotion. So we're not trying to say, okay, what's below that? No, we have to be with them in the upheaval and the anger and the mess and the narrative while creating safety, catching exactly. bullets and beginning to make sense out of it. I love your phrase of being with them in the upheaval. It's a wild ride and you just hang on for your life and you tolerate the harrowing like we've said before. Right. Tolerate the harrowing. Piggyback question on this is usually they have some questions I think about what now? Where do we go from yeah. here? So do, yeah. do you paint the picture of where you're going? As much as I can. It depends on how escalated they are and how reactive and how rigid their defenses and reactivity are. I know it's a real tender time. Yeah. And so having a cognitive plan is going to be very helpful. In a general way, I say what now is you guys don't make any decisions. No decisions. One breath at a time. We need to work this through. We will be able to work this through. I love helping couples get stronger in a broken place. We in EFT know this process. We know how this will go and we know how to help you be successful. But it takes some time and we've got to de-escalate first. We'll just keep making a plan session by session. You become very important. Sometimes when I'm going to travel to teach or whatever, I won't start with a couple in this situation. I refer them because I know I need to be there. There's no yeah. substitute for these meetings. Yeah. And in those first few weeks or few months, it feels like you're their person yeah. to hold them through the intensity of the waves. No humans can make a good decision with this much noise in our heads and hearts. We need to calm the system. We need to soothe each of you. We need to see how much we can de-escalate before you start thinking about about what does this mean about our relationship? No decisions. No decisions. As hard as that is. Right? Take the pressure off yourself. Yeah. 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 For more hot tips on emotionally focused therapy, go to theeftcafe.com and sign up for our newsletter where you will receive short little clips like the one you just watched.